Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Cthulhu's. So in our last episode, we won our holy war for these two counties of Saxony. And I think we basically have... Yeah. We basically have all the territories of Saxony within our realm. Unfortunately, we can't create this title, or we can't usurp it, rather, because... Um, Queen Ermesinde, the nun... She's a nun? Okay. Apparently holds uh, control over it. And we can't usurp it because we're of a different religion. It's kind of a strange system. I don't fully understand um, how that all works, but whatever. Uh, we should also... I, I've been forgetting to uh, vassalize these guys. Which I guess isn't all that important, considering that they're um, feudal and all that shit. But anyways, let's go ahead and vassalize them. Bring them into our empire. And then look into possibly declaring wars on these dudes and we'll go for a conquest war i don't think we need to go for a holy war because i think our moral authority is already 100 percent so you know we're good we're good but let's go after the conquest of lausitz and unfortunately we kind of have to do this manually because i can't uh, for a second there i was like i can just get my uh, vassals to do all the um fighting but no that's not how this works anymore Unfortunate, but you know what? That is okay. Because I should probably be uh, less lazy. <laughs> in game and in real life. Anyways. Oh, right. For a second, I thought you were, you were the guy that I was attacking. I was like, oh, wait. No, what is. What are you doing? No, nope, I was wrong. Got some frail dude who's also ambitious as a uh, vassal, which is actually okay. He still likes me. Um, I think it's because I'm way over his uh, power level, or his title level. Alright, are you guys all in Upland yet, or just getting there? Okay, good. I don't think we need to hire anyone to fight this war for us, right? Yeah, they only got the 870 dudes. Fine. Go over to uh, Whirly. Yes, I'm going to call it Whirly now. And why don't you guys... Ships, go home. Troops, go over to Brandenburg and show these guys what's up. And you've converted some one dude into a Germanic dumb. Antoine Carling has died of cancer. Couldn't have happened to a more deserving bastard. So you only have the one dude left who is the heir of Saxony. Fair enough. Fair enough. You know what? We'll just siege this down and get 100% that way. Avoid any fights whatsoever. Perfect. Alright. More land to give away. We will give it away to the peasant leader? Vassal opinion. Um. Maybe we should avoid the peasant leader. Just in case he does end up being like some kind of ruler. Or just in case he ends up having vassals. And then his vassals get all pissy and shit. And cause some kind of like, I don't know, stupid ass rebellions and whatnot. That's fine. Lausitz now belongs to you, my friend. And we will now set our sights towards... I kind of want to complete the Kingdom of Pomerania. Is that a good idea? That might be a good idea. The Duchy. No, no, no. I want the Kingdom. I want this thing. Aha! You know what? This might be our first actual foray into this. So it could work out. Hmm, with you, however, I can either wage a war for Pomeralia or Pomerania. Pomerania. Um, let's go for a holy war of Pomeralia rather than Pomerania. I mean, I could go for a de jure claim on your shit as well. But I don't think that's that important. Could do conquest. No, no, let's go for a holy war of uh, Pomeralia. We'll get the two counties, and then whenever our truce expires, we'll go for a conquest of Stettin. I think that makes more sense, right? Maybe. We'll see. Let's go for it. Pomeralia, here we come. So, what is this? Romova leaders. I think he's the only Romova dude left. <laughs> ah, sucks to be you, man. Sucks to be you. Let's do this. Let's hope he doesn't convert to uh, Germanic. There's a good chance he might, but let's hope he doesn't. 
And I think his piety and uh, prestige is too low for him to summon any troops. Oh, he does already have some event spawn troops. That's why they're so low. Okay. Hmm. What war are you currently involved in right now? We've got a few wars going on. Um, you're losing that. Great. What about that one? You are winning that one. That one you are currently also winning. Okay. So that might mean that his troops are somewhat divided, which is a good thing. But also might not be a good thing. I don't know. Let's get... Wait, wait. Go back there. Go back on land. Go back on land, 11 dudes. Get everyone merged up as best as we can here. Anyone else need merging or... No, you good? Okay. And then let's get everyone who can on the boats. I don't think we necessarily need to meet up in... Um, Whatchamacallit land? In Upland? Uh, such a mess. That's why I like having um, king vassals. That way, you know, you can just spawn a few things and then you don't have to worry about gathering all these freaking people into one place. Which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Again, they don't necessarily need to meet me in Upland. I mean, it'd be nice if they could, but I think we're okay with just getting everyone over to the closest point there. Yeah, why don't you guys just meet up in, where is this? Mecklenburg. Um, actually, you know what? If we have our, um, Yom's Vikings, we might not even need our vassals to come in on this. Yeah, let's just disband our vassals, and then get our Yom's Vikings, and then just do it ourselves, rather than relying on, um, prattling knaves and stupid-ass vassals who can't, uh, do jack shit. Uh, don't tell them I said that, though. As far as I- as far as they are- they're aware, uh, they're amazing, but, um, obviously they're not. Alright. I think what would be a good idea is actually to have our troops- you know what? Let's actually go after the, um, actual place, rather than splitting our guys up. So we'll do two rounds, send them over to Walgast, and hope that the, uh, this dude doesn't come in with, uh, hot and heavy force whilst I'm preparing my uh, troops. Okay, you formed another alliance. I don't know how you keep forming alliances, miss, but I don't like it. Not that what I mind or want should really matter to you. What the hell is this? The Brunian War for his claim on Plowin. What the fuck? Do you not realize the staggering force with which I can crush your face? Like, seriously. Not a good idea, buddy. I'm gonna give you a chance to back out of this. Without any shame. I'm just kidding, I'm gonna crush your face. Because that's just how I do. That's just the Viking way, and you know what? I will, um, I'd be more than happy to honor the old Viking traditions. Young Sigrid has finished her education and stewardship. You are Midas touched. Good for you. When can I become ambitious? I've spent my entire life... Oh shit. How do you have so many troops, man? Just got the 5,000. Oh, these are your vassals! Crap. I forgot about that. I forgot that's how it works. Crap biscuit. Let's see if maybe we can do the old bait and switch with them. Well, not exactly the baiting and switching that I was planning for, but I guess it kind of worked. So we're on the defensive. And these are, what? Forest terrain. Which means that I don't think they unfortunately get a defense or attack penalty. Okay, that was dragging on for far too long. Kind of made me nervous there. Should we follow them through? That'd be a forest as well. And we got our sweet, sweet black dress on. Um, actually, you know what? They kind of look like uh, wildlings from uh, Game of Thrones, don't they? Maybe we should have gotten some of our vassals to help out. You know what? We can get some of these dudes, maybe? Oh, not a lot of them, though. Gotta say. Yeah, we'll just get as much as we can here. And then we'll get these guys to aid us in our struggle. 
Really? Is that all you guys got? It's a little embarrassing, guys. Where are these guys coming in from? What? Y'all ain't being attacked? What are you talking about? Liar. We need to invest in more technology, and that is cultural advances. Kingdom Vice Royalties. You know what, I think if we go for Imperial Administration, we will probably end up with um, Kingdom Vice Royalties anyways? Possibly? So maybe we should actually just invest in Majesty. Or should we go for Legalism? No, let's go for Majesty. I don't think we really need Kingdom Vice Royalties, considering that uh, if we in fact- Oh, I see. I see, that's what's happening. Where are you guys headed? You guys are headed over to... Pot. No, you know what? Let them deal with it. Are these guys coming in to fight us again? Did you really not learn your lesson? Good grief. Wait, who joined your war? Well, that's unfortunate. That's okay, though. <laughs> what an idiot. What the hell is he doing? Oh, no. Toasty. Aw, oh, man. I got so upset by the uh, death of Toasty that I've stopped being kind. You know what? That's, that's to be expected. Usually when I lose friends named uh, Toasty, I get really sour and bitter. And super salty, so I stop being kind to everyone. Happens on a daily basis, of course. And... That's a full stack, perfect. Let's move over to Slupsk. Wow, what a name, Slupsk. Oh, thank you. What is this, the Greater Polish Revolt. Very nice. Ah, Gulf of Zdanzig. I see, I see. I could hear someone sneaking around inside and believed it to be a burglar. When I went downstairs, I discovered Gurlaga opening one of my letters. You know what? Say goodbye to your prestige, punk. Actually, he's the uh, Gold Laga version 1, right? The not-so-good Gold Laga? Yeah. That's fine, I don't really give a shit about him. He's our backup, just in case something terrible happens to the actual good Gold Laga. Which, actually, what's happening with them? He is developing, uh... Very nicely, as a matter of fact. Except for his marshals, a little slower. Why is his diplomacy so good? Is it because my diplomacy is really good? Aha. Uh -huh. So it is. Kind of. Just take all this shit right away. You know what? We'll actually siege this one down, because I don't think there's enough of a um, difference in numbers. The kidnappers overpowered me and made sure I could not call for help by stuffing a filthy rag in my mouth. Luckily, they did not get far away from me. Uh, Hjalmar and the guards managed to free me and capture them. What the fuck? Are people trying to, um, capture me? Oh shit, Biscuit. Let's recruit a court physician. Which is completely unrelated to, um, the attempted, uh, kidnapping. We could go for... Uh, the master schemer dude. Actually, he really loves me. So I could. He's an option. So 23 is a score to beat. Which one of my vassals really hates me? No one! Nobody hates me! I'm loved by everyone! So why aren't people trying to kidnap me? What are these jerks doing? Assholes. But let us definitely give away some um, minor titles. Not Court Jester. No, no, no. Yeah, Ulfur of Skane. Go ahead. Draw City. Jarl of whatever. Uh, Merrick Smather. Let's make you call. Herdman. Give away some of these. Just anyone. There you go. Perfect. No matter how many issues you deal with, there are always more demanding your attention. As the cacophony of quarreling nobles echoes throughout your court, you suddenly snap and push your way through the exit. Sorry, th through the bewildered crowds to reach the exit. Come on, man. Just because... Just become ambitious, and I promise you all this will... Are you suicidal? Reports reach you about a ship that just docked in Åland. The ship is called the Storm of the Allfather, and on board resides the renowned phys uh, physician Ale the Sea Devil, who is currently in the employ of the ship's captain. If you were to offer a large sum of gold to the greedy physician, he would surely be willing to take up residence in your court. Ah, I mean, he's a cool pirate captain. Uh, no, he's a pirate uh, doctor, but his learning is rather abysmal, isn't it? 
you know, how much money does he want? 85 ducats. We can afford that, but you know what? We'll go with Balder for now. Yeah, we don't need your services, you stupid, expensive pirate dude. Great, thank you. Um. <laughs> oh, damn! Good job, Stuart. Another rebellion. Where is this? Here? What the hell? This isn't even a religious rebellion. What up with these fools? Good grief. And what up with these guys? Why are they so suicidal? So hell-bent on, like, attacking my troops in the worst possible conditions. <laughs> well, worst possible conditions for them, not for my troops, obviously. Alright, fine, you know what? They're moving back to Slupsk. Ellen? Get out of my face. Go learn from someone else. I don't give a rat's ass about you or your stupid dumb bullshit. We could fight them, but you know what? Let's just actually win, uh, end this war. Perfect. Alright, good job, guys. Good job. Mm, we will give these counties away. Because they don't need to hold on to them. Besides, they're tribal holdings, so I can't really uh, manage them all that well anymore. It's like I forgot my roots or something. Arnfast? Or sorry, Arnfast? Arnfast? Fuck me. And... Same under. boy. Plowen will hold on to for the time being. I should not have disbanded my troops. Um... You know, actually we might... We can fight the... Uh, the um, Christian Rebellion down here with the Yom's Vikings. But we can't... Let's just dismiss them for now. We can't fight the Rebellion over here with the Yom's Vikings because they're already Norse. So let's deal with this first and then get our Yom's Vikings over to um, down there to fight the Christian Rebellion that's happening. And that should be more than enough. Let's get in there, crush some skulls and... Um, I guess, I don't know, do whatever the hell you want. Whatever Vikings are known for doing. Possibly eating their hearts. There you go. Alright, and Yom's Vikings? Whoa, I don't know how you replenish your army so quickly, but... Good for you. And you know what? We're gonna help you guys out a little bit. Don't say I ain't done nothing for you. Because we're gonna help you out by ferrying you across in your very own personal Viking Uber. Holy shit, steward. You're amazing. Look at how much gold we have. This is incredible. Oh my god. Nice. Let's go ahead and crush these stupid ass rebellions. Without a moment's notice. And they're coming in to fight us. Why are... Why is the AI so suicidal today? You know what? I'm liking it. But it's a little confusing. I don't know what it's thinking or why it's doing what it's doing, but... I guess, you know, there, there are worse things that could be, uh, that could happen, right? Like the AI could suddenly become sentient and go all Skynet on me. It's possible, right? And then these, it starts printing out actual, like, Vikings through my printer. Of course, they'd be made of paper, because I don't have a 3D printer or anything. But still, rather terrifying. If, like, giant, burly, sweaty Vikings came out of the uh, printer, you'd probably piss your pants too, right? How long is she going to stay in that war for? Oh, she's... Oh, wait, no, she's taking some of her land back. Okay, that's interesting. I don't quite understand what's happening there, but fair enough. And boom. It's right, you fool. I don't know why he decided to do that. Like, just out of nowhere, decided to just... You know what? Let's attack this guy. This guy looks easy. Do I, though? Do I really? Huh. All set for a martial education, buddy. Alright. Well, that's cool. I think we might have to hold off on summoning some of our vassal troops for the next little while, considering that they are just absolutely livid that we've been using their troops. Jeez. No pleasing some people, right? So in the meantime, let's go ahead and upgrade, up, upgrade, upgrade our uh, castle walls. Really? Improve keeps is not level 2 there? Fine. Go with the militia training ground then. And castle towns in Holland. Uh, I think our um, military 
technology spread is a little slow. Which I suppose is to be expected, but still, it's a lot slower than I imagined it would be. Plow it will ignore for now, because I don't think I'll be holding on to it for too long. Um, might actually be a good idea to go on a raid. We will be slightly over our monthly cost, and why aren't these guys abandoning? Abandoning? Disbanding. Okay. Mm, can I actually get the Yelm Vikings to raid? Holy shit. Is that a viable strategy? It could work. It could work. How pissed would he be that I raised his troops? I don't think he actually gets pissed that I raised his troops because they're mercenaries. Have you actually converted them? No, okay. You just converted some dude. Not great. You know, miss. Not great. Am I expecting better from you? Instead of, um, like, freaking, whatchamacallit, um, converting individual dudes, I kind of need you to convert, like, entire places, please, if that makes any sense. So here's what I'm going to try. I'm going to try using the Yom's Vikings to raid, because it seems like I can toggle them as the uh, looters. Get out of my face. No, you do not deserve land for being a jackass. Absolutely not. Sleeve can split these guys up into smaller stacks. Three stacks of 2,500? I am good with that. Let's go. Let's go over back to England. It's been a while since we've raided them. We don't want them to get too soft. Um, we do want to bash their teeth in and thus support the British dentist industry, maybe? Duchy of Gear. No, 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 no. I want Saxony. Let me know when Saxony becomes available. Because I'm just really just... Itching for that Saxony action. Hey, you guys miss us? We're back. This time we'll look better and more awesome than ever. Look at us with our old cool wildling look. As you're out hunting one afternoon, a bearded elder approaches, donning a simple traveler's cloak and a wide-brimmed hat that conceals his his other eye. He greets you with a courtesy. Oh, sorry, he greets you with courtesy, requests a horn of meat, and then informs you that just yonder, a well lies forgotten, filled with gold. He wanders off, chuckling as he goes, leaving you struck with the familiarity of his presence. Wow, I'm fairly certain Odin has visited every generation of our uh, dynasty, which obviously means that we are the chosen ones, right? Alright, keep an eye out for these dudes. I know we're our Yom's Vikings, but still, that doesn't mean that we can just go around, um getting blasted in the ass willy-nilly. Look at that, we're still gaining money. This is incredible. If this actually works out, like, holy shit. I just found a new way to raid. King Pierre II, the rash of Burgundy. Are they trying to say that you just rush into things, or are they saying that you are, in fact, a giant, massive rash? Like, you are the human embodiment of annoyance. I don't know. We'll skip uh, Norfolk, and then we'll just focus on Suffolk, Essex, and Middlesex. Perfect. Although, you know what? Am I a Viking? Do I have the Viking trait? I do have the Viking trait. I think at this point, I'm fairly old enough that I don't really... Fussy! Gold Flame, why are you being fussy, little shit? Good grief. Um, at this point, I think our current leader is... There you go. Does not feel better to convert an entire county into our Germanic ways rather than just like a single dude. So as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by everything. Is um, I think it might be a good idea to not go on any further raids. We don't really need to prove ourselves. You know, we've done it done enough to prove ourselves to the world. Show them that we're in fact badass. So we don't. We can just take it easy now. I think we can just retire. And go over to your parent and start raiding this place. Because I think eh, it's not amazing. And eh, this place is actually terrible. Let's not raid that shit for sure. France, don't do nothing, okay? I ain't raiding your lands, not right now, anyways. We will soon, but don't tell them that. A woman accused of witchcraft in Holland has been dragged before your court. Several witnesses have seen her performing dark rituals in her secluded hut, transforming men into newts before they get better. 
possibly related to recent crop failures, as well as having a false nose that has been placed on her by the raving mob. She claims innocence and it falls on you to determine her fate. We will of course um, weigh her against a duck and see if she weighs more than a duck. Because if she doesn't, if she's lighter than a duck, then it means that she's made of wood or churches and that she deserves to be drowned. But we'll burn her at the stake anyways, let's do it. Ambitious, come on man, where are you ambitious trait? Amateur steward, I don't want amateur steward. I want to be a professional am ambitious man. Is that a thing? I hope that's a thing. It should be a thing. Alright, we could go after France, but I think they're a little, um... I mean... Might not be a bad idea. But there's just so much happening in France that I don't think it's a good idea to attack them right now. Because they've already got their troops mobilized, so... And these places are being completely sieged and raided, so let's just ignore that. And we will actually go after Ruin, Evreux, and Mortain. Here we come, bitch. That's right. You should have stayed unified, France. You should have stayed unified. Alright, what is this? Wait, wait. When did we lose our Chancellor? And why was I not informed of this? Chancellor, why you die on me, bitch? We'll go with Bercy. He's not the best, but you know what? He understands me. He understands my need for the D. And he may even be willing to give the D. He's like 10 years older than me, but you know what? At this point, when you're like past 50, age is only a number at that point, right? I mean, if you're like 50 years old and you're dating some like 18-year-old girl, okay, maybe that's a little strange, but uh, regardless. Actually, we should probably commission a runestone before I croak. So let's go ahead. I mean, we're not even raiding, so we can just do this uh, while our um, uh, proxy Vikings, <laughs> proxy troops are doing all the heavy lifting for us. You have decided to commission a runestone, or say commission and raise a grand runestone for future generations to gaze upon. What should be carved into it? Let's definitely do the father thing. It shall stand in memory of Fakir Spinning Seal, my departed father. Perfect. Okay, so Evo is done and ready to bounce. Ruin is also in ruin. And Mortain is ready to float Tain? No, that didn't work. I tried. I failed. What is your business? Oh, you're actually part of that. Uh, let's ignore that then. And just move on to St. George's Channel, which is like the best place to go raiding. Because that can reach like 80 million um, uh, counties from this one uh, sea tile. And we're basically going to be harassing Leon. Is that right? No, it's Cornwall. Why did it say Leon? Oh, right. That's... Eh. Whatever. It's fine. It, it, it was his title. In memory of Snorasal. The rune stone you commissioned has been finished and raised on the spot you chose for it. You examine the runes. This stone was raised by Lord Agony in memory of Spinning Seal, his father and Coax's son. He lived a good life and died peacefully in bed. Ever will stand this memorial. You leave the stone content in the knowledge that many centuries from now, when, it is, when its paint has long since faded, scholars will be studying these rune carvings in an effort to glean the wisdom of their words. Good job, buddy. Good job. You done good, son. You done good. Castle walls done in Hatuna. Hatuna Matara, maybe? Yeah, let's go with uh, Castle Town. Sounds like a good idea. And you know what I forgot to do in between episodes is look at the retinue composition that's recommended for Norse, Norse um, campaigns. Oops, my bad. <laughs> but as you may have well noticed by now, uh, my memory is absolute garbage. So it's probably not a good thing to expect me to be able to remember anything, as a matter of fact. Uh, which is uh, unfortunately not an excuse that works with my girlfriend. Um, so I uh, have to be a little creative with that. <coughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, let's go with stables, I guess. I mean, I kind of want castle walls, but I don't know how um, how close we are to upgrading castle walls here. Because we need what? Proved keeps. 
Okay, so they're actually fairly close to getting um, Castle Walls 2. Which is great, but I don't think it's going to happen in um, any time soon. So let's go ahead and see if we can upgrade some better places. Like, I mean, that place already has stables. Castle Town, no, no, no. That's pretty good. I guess we might as well go for the stables. Yeah. I... Or, yeah, let's, let's, let's just do it. It's fine. Let's just do it. Um... Island is actually surprisingly well developed. I mean, look at the uh, the troop level or the troop numbers there, huh? Stables, yeah, because we're not losing any money. In fact, we're still gaining a hefty amount. So I'm actually okay with us upgrading these places. That's fine, and we'll go for stables there as well. And Visborg, yeah, sure. We don't want you to feel left out. And once we have a little bit more money, we'll start the retinue game. And should be fine, I think. Should be fine. Especially since we got this new system of um, having our Yom's Vikings do the raiding for us. Do we want to land there? Let's actually just get rid of this one stack of armies. Or, sorry. Um, sorry, can you guys stop? Yeah, thanks. Let's get everyone, please. Thank you. That way we take less, ca less casualties. My spymaster, Bjorn, has brought me the most extraordinary news. Apparently, he has uncovered a rumor concerning an exceedingly special artifact. The specifics of Bjorn's information are in uncertain, but he is convinced that there is a degree of truth to the tales. Bjorn? Get to it, son. And... Oh, -ho, nice. Fantastic. Let's get you guys back up into the boat and then have one of you go over to Gwynedd. And the other we can send over to... Uh, somewhere? Oh, that place. Glamorgan, there we go. Fantastic. Alright, you guys ready? Glamorgan and Gwyneth, please. Thank you very much. Alright, well, let's leave the episode off here and continue this tomorrow. So far, it's going pretty, pretty well. Um, In our next episode, I'm thinking maybe... We will probably be able to go to war against this guy again to uh, claim Stettin, and then once we have Stettin, maybe we'll look into creating the Kingdom of Pomerania. Although we still need one county from this guy. Do we still have a truce with him? We might still have a truce with him. Uh, we do not actually have a truce with him. Great. So if we declare... Ah, perfect. And then we'll go for a war on Mason, I think. Is that part of... Yeah, that's a part of uh, Pomerania. And then we'll try this whole uh, religious world conquest out. And then we'll also build up a retinue. So we got a lot of stuff on our um, plate for next episode. So for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.